Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And since I've been crafting a lot more lately, I decided to make myself a half working apron. This way I can carry all of my tools and necessities with me when I'm running around frantic in my craft room. Down below there is a video on how to pattern your own apron. Um, this way it can be customizable and it can fit you a little bit better. Um, so be sure to check that out. That's the pattern I'm gonna be using in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start with the third and fourth pattern, which is going to be the large pocket and the secondary pocket. So I'm going to cut both pockets out of this white cotton twill. Um, a good example would be khaki pants. That's a cotton twill, but like it's in the khaki color. So it's pretty much the same feel and texture, except it's white. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cut both of those out and I have my pattern drafted on fold. So all of this is going to be cut on fold. So the seam allowances for both of these is a quarter of an inch in. So what I did was I took an iron and I just folded in a quarter of an inch and I just ironed it all down. So for the large pocket, I'm going to go ahead and sew down the top seam allowance. And I'm just going to set that aside. Then for the secondary pocket, I'm going to go ahead and sew down the top seam allowance as well. And I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Next, I am taking the secondary pocket and I place it right on top of the larger pocket. So on the original pattern, I did create some guidelines on where I can potentially top stitch this. So basically, I just create a couple lines right down both of the pockets and then it creates like tiny little sections for me to put other materials. Okay, so now it's time to cut out the main part of the apron, which is the first pattern. And I am going to cut it out of this really awesome window pane fabric here. So cutting this is going to be a little bit finicky for me just because of the squares. And I want to make sure that the squares line up and it doesn't look asymmetrical. Um, so, you know, I'm going to follow the pattern as best as I can. But obviously, I'm going to um, situate it so that the fabric matches up with the pattern. Another thing is that if you're going to cut this out of like a solid or a more forgiving pattern where there isn't any symmetry then you know it's just easier um, if you're starting out so don't be like me don't be like KL okay so I have the main pattern cut out and it's just one large rectangle pretty easy I'm going to attach the pockets to the apron so I'm just gonna lay it right on top right here and since I already folded in the seam allowances on the pockets all I have to do is sew the sides and the bottom and just do a quick top stitch there okay so now I'm just gonna flip the apron to the back and I am just gonna go ahead and hem the side seams and also the bottom hem as well so I'm gonna fold those in and I'm just gonna sew down the left, the bottom, and the right. Last but not least is the waistband. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the long strip here and I am going to fold it in half and I am going to sew up one side, across, and down the other, but I'm going to leave the middle completely hollow so that I can place my apron right in the middle there. Now I'm gonna turn this completely inside out mark the midpoint of the waistband and then um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and place the apron inside of the bottom part of the waistband and once I get the apron sandwiched in between the waistband here I'm gonna go ahead and just sew across the bottom of the waistband making sure that my thread also catches the apron as I sew as well that's it, you're pretty much done here, but I'm gonna add one extra thing to my apron. Okay, so I have some magnetic strips here and I'm gonna cut a couple strips and place it right inside one of the pockets here. And really, really simply, I just go ahead and sew all the way around the magnet and in between each magnet. So that's it, that is my half working apron that I use when I am crafting, sewing, doing all sorts of stuff. I usually hold my pins, pencils, snipping scissors, random glue sticks, you know, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, it, it can be kind of wild when, uh, when I'm crafting. So um, if you're gonna try out this tutorial, please shoot me a photo to my Instagram, would love to check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video, bye.